good morning, everyone. This is uh, Carlotta Palumbo. I'm uh, an associate uh, editor of the uh, uh, EAU Ronco Educational Platform in uh, Kidney Cancer. And it's my pleasure uh, today to have uh, uh, here with us uh, Professor Alessandro Volpe. Uh, professor Volpe is a full professor of urology in Novara, Italy, and is also um, the chief of the ESO. Uh, so today we will discuss, uh, we are here in, uh, um, at the Euro Onco meeting in Sevilla, and uh, this morning uh, we have a nice uh, video session on the uh, management of cystic renal mass. So uh, we will have some questions to Professor Volpe, who was one of the panelists and the moderator of the session. So we know that uh, uh, cystic renal mass uh, may be different, uh, may be harbor different uh, potential uh, uh, malignancies. Uh, uh, so do you suggest uh, uh, some kind of imaging or maybe also a biopsy in order to better characterize uh, the, the uh, cystic mass? Good morning, and thank you for the question, Carlotta. Uh, yes, uh, cystic renal masses are in general, uh, have in general a relatively less indolent behavior than solid renal masses according to the Bosniak classification. So Bosniak 1 and 2, uh, of course, have lower risk. Bosniak 3 and 4 have a higher risk of malignancy. Uh, we generally, as urologists, we generally do study these lesions with the, the traditional CT scan. But of course, we have other options, and MRI can be a very good alternative. Uh, the use of MRI has been confirmed also by the 2019 update of the Bosnia classification that includes MRI. So MRI can be an addition to, to, to CT scan, either in the cases where the iodine contrast is contraindicated, but also independently in the other cases. We have also to rem remember that also contrast enhanced ultrasound can play a role in this field. Uh, according to the data with the uh, limited evidence, uh, contrast enhanced ultrasound has excellent accuracy. However, that has to be confirmed, but it can be another option. So uh, basically, CT scan is generally the, 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 axial, the axial imaging we use, but MRI and contrast enhanced ultrasound are also good additions. And so when we are facing with a Bosniak 3 or 4 uh, cyst uh, and we are planning uh, a surgical treatment for the cyst, uh, today we uh, saw a different clinical scenario. So can you summarize uh, the tips and tricks um, that every urologist uh, should know when starting uh, dealing with a cystic uh, renal mass? Yes, of course. The, there was a good discussion in the morning in a panel with different surgeons, including myself. Uh, the general message was that, of course, surgery, partial nephrectomy for cystic renal mass is a challenging surgery. It's relatively more challenging than for solid masses, of course, uh, also in, uh, based also on the characteristics of the lesion. Uh, one main point was a discussion about clamping or non-clamping. The final message was that, uh, in general, clamping is favored because when you want to work on a cystic mass, you want to really see well the plane in order to minimize the risk of rupture of the cyst. But of course, also off-clamp surgery is possible in experienced hands. So preparing the ilum is crucial in any case. When you approach the cyst, then you should always use interoperative ultrasound to better delineate uh, the, the cyst and to decide the best incision on the, on the renal parenchyma. And then, in general, you should approach the cyst uh, preserving a good amount of parenchyma around the cyst in order to minimize rupture, the risk of rupturing the cyst again. Uh, but then, when you keep going, sometimes you can really find the plane uh, of, of the cyst, and sometimes you can really enucleate, do a pure enucleation, also in this kind of lesion. So, in general, stay, high, stay wide, but if you can do a simple enucleation, that, that's also possible. And do you think in this setting uh, a 3D model uh, reconstruction may be helpful? Yes, we discussed that as well. And uh, of course, 3D model reconstructions are important uh, addition, an important uh, um, tool in our hands when we plan any kind uh, of partial nephrectomy and nephrosparing surgery. Of course, also in these cases, it plays a role. And the role is... Uh, um, 
has increasingly importance based, again, on tumor characteristics. So if, if the cyst is very big, or it approaches or it invades even the renal ilum, then the utility of 3D reconstruction increases, and uh, it becomes very important to uh, maximize the results of our surgery. So, and today we also saw a couple of video of a nightmare, uh, that for, uh, I mean, uh, um, cystic renal mass is the intraoperative rupture of the cyst. So what would you recommend in case of intraoperative rupture? Yeah, that's, of course, it's a nightmare. That's what we want to avoid, but that can happen. And according to uh, the largest study we have from in the French, uh, in a multicentric, multicentric academic, multicentric French study, um, the risk of rupturing was uh, described as high as 18 percent, which is not trivial. Uh, so rupture exists; they they do occur, and in those cases, uh, the most important thing to do is to irrigate the abdomen, and then uh, to to really make a decision. In general, the panel today was quite clear in saying that uh, if the rupture is not massive, generally you should keep going and uh, perform and complete the partial nephrectomy without converting to open surgery or uh, converting the surgery to a radical nephrectomy. So if possible, you can keep doing that, irrigate the abdomen. Uh, the good message from the French study is that in the majority, in the vast majority of patients with rupture, probably based on the indolent behavior of the cystic masses, there were no recurrences during follow-up. So of course, it's a nightmare. It should not happen. But if it happens, probably the, the consequences uh, on, uh, on oncological outcomes are not that, uh, that terrible. And do you think that this patient should be uh, follow up uh, uh, stricter than uh, the patient that did not experience uh, a rupture? Yes, of course, I believe that if you keep going and you perform the partial nephrectomy after a clear rupture, you should uh, follow up this patient with a more intense uh, protocol. Uh, also depending on the kind of rupture, because it can be a minimal rupture, it can be a massive rupture. Uh, the rupture can happen in the, in the cystic part, and uh, so probably the fluid that, uh, that actually spilled from the tumor could, may not have contained uh, really cancer cells. So depending on all these features, you have to adapt your follow-up. In general, you need to follow this patient with a stricter protocol. So thank you very much for being with us today. And uh, so, uh, like final message, uh, uh, in, when we are dealing with cystic mass, uh, be cautious. Uh, um, just uh, you, you need to have some little uh, arrangement during your uh, surgery in order to avoid uh, rupture. In case of rupture, go ahead, uh, uh, finish your uh, uh, planned surgery, and uh, probably. Um, discuss with the patient uh, we, um, regarding a stricter follow-up. Thank you very much. Thank you.